Hey, Dr. Karen here, and uh, I thought I would do a LifeWave trip, uh, tip, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> tips, tips, tips and tricks uh, with LifeWave patching today, and I'm going to focus on the neck today uh, because uh, the other day I was doing a fairly challenging CrossFit exercise program and bumped my head a little bit against a pole while I was trying to do this leg raise thing. Anyway, had to be there. Uh, so so uh, I do have some chronic neck stuff uh, that from a long time ago came from uh, driving 15 hours in a row um, when my ex-husband didn't know how to drive. Uh, and uh, we would drive to his hometown uh, which was very, very far away. So 15 hours I would be driving and it'd be in snow and sleet and it was just very stressful. And back then uh, I had a, a two-door car. And so the the um, the seatbelt would come right across my neck. And I tried to like have all sorts of doohickeys to try to get it not to press on the side of my neck. But unfortunately, um, it did this for years. And I went to some physical therapy um, and it did help quite a bit. Uh, and then I did some uh, EFT, emotional freedom technique, uh, to release some negative emotions of resentment. <laughs> that helped my neck a lot. So I have generally much better range of motion of my neck. But from time to time, my scalene muscles on the side of my neck get kind of tight. And then uh, with this bump on the head didn't help because my cervical vertebrae kind of like went off a little bit and I knew I needed to see the chiropractor, uh, which was today. Um, so I could feel when I was lateral bending that it wouldn't go completely, like there was a stuck part in here, which he did, my chiropractor did confirm. So what I wanna show you today is what the scalene muscles, uh, where they are and uh, what it feels like when they're tight. So we do a lot of like looking on the computer and a lot of us are looking down on the computer or looking at our phones, right? And so these muscles kind of get into weird shapes. They're really to keep our head up, but also to help flex our neck and rotate and things like that. But the scalenes are probably the least well-treated muscle when it comes to say PT or a massage therapist. A lot of massage therapists really don't know how to address those scalene muscles, but my massage therapist, Rebecca, is super awesome at scalenes. So I learned a lot about the scalenes from her. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with my uh, neck to reinforce the, the realignment of what my chiropractor did today because he put my cervical spine back in alignment. I could feel that tightness trying to like act up. So I've got patches on. I'm gonna show you in a moment why I'm patching the way I'm patching and it is helping. So I'm gonna share my screen here and I'm gonna show you some pictures. So the first is a, um, this is just, you can just, you know, go on DuckDuckGo or Google and just Google scaling muscles. So you can see the anatomy, but they are originating from the cervical spine and they fan out like a triangle to the first and second ribs. So you can see how these muscles, um, it's hard to see from this angle, but they're like, it looks like a triangle, um, these triangle of muscles and they come down on the side of the neck and um, and they insert onto the ribs, which you know you can't actually touch because they're inside here, <laughs> but you can approximate uh, where they go uh, with your life wave patching. And you'll see there at the bottom, um, the two clavicle, sorry, the, um, the um, manubrium, which is this bone here, and the clavicle joints right here. Okay, so that's what these guys are down here. Um, and so you can kind of figure out where, you know, where they go. So I'll show you another picture of the scalings from a slightly different angle. Here you can see more of the triangular shape, right? So they come from the neck and they spread out uh, into, there's the anterior scalene, then the medial, uh, and then the posterior. So anterior means front, medial means the middle, and then posterior means the back. So this is how they go. Now for me, I can definitely feel my um, uh, medial, um, scalings. And in fact, if I push right here on either side, it's tight, it's tight. And it gives me like this, you know, trigger point kind of feeling it radiates down my arm. So you can check in yourself as well. Of course, I've had the massage therapist show me where to push. So I know where it is. 
So this is what I'm doing. Let me show that to you. I'm going to stop sharing right now so you can see me back here. So, um, so I'm going to put my hair up so you can see where I've patched today. So let's put this in a ponytail. Yes, I got my life wave shirt on today. Okay. So what I did was um, with the ice wave patches, these are the patches, the phototherapy patches from LifeWave that are for pain. So there's a tan patch and a white patch. The white patch is more the masculine or the yang patch, if you're talking about yin and yang. And the tan patch is more the yin patch. And the energy, there's more energy, if you will, in the white patch and less energy in the tan patch. So the energy kind of travels from more to less, you know. So basically it's unblocking things. It's actually, you know, uh, energy is moving uh, from one patch to the other. So I know from my friend um, who is a foot and ankle specialist, DL Walker, she says, uh, if we were going to tape with kinesio tape a muscle and you wanted to disinhibit the muscle, so in this case, if the muscle is too tight, we want to kind of relax it, um, you would tape from the um, insertion where the muscle gets inserted to the origin where it starts. So you go kind of backwards. Okay, so what I did today was I kind of did the same thing with patches. So I um, went from the rib area and put the white patch in the rib area and the tan patch on the neck area where the scalenes originate. And I can definitely feel a relaxation of the area. So where the chiropractor adjusted, I can feel sometimes after the adjustment that the muscles kind of want to twitch a little bit and get a little bit like, um, you know, like, well, ah, this is new, but after I patch it, I can definitely feel much more relaxation of that muscle. And I do a lot of computer work, so that probably doesn't help things. So this will keep me more balanced today while I'm doing computer work and things like that. So let me show you. So here is my white patch. Now, remember, we can't actually reach the first rib in here. So you could patch it in here, okay? Um, which is a little bit of a trigger point. That's where the scaling is tight. I'm just patching just slightly lower, like because it's also going to attach to the second rib as well. And this is the level of the first rib. So I'm putting it just below the collarbone, the white patch here. The tan, um, I'm going to turn my head. I've got it patched back here. Now I could go, I could have gone a little bit lower because it is C2, 3 as opposed to C1, C2. But I do feel the discomfort in C1, C2, right at the base of the skull. So I'm going to go ahead and patch at the base of the skull behind, you know, the, the, the big muscle here. This is the sternocleidomastoid muscle. I'm going to go behind it there, up here, where the scalenes originate. And I'm going to um, patch the white here. So the energy is going from white to tan, from white to tan. Okay. Now, if that, for whatever reason, makes it worse for you, just reverse the colors. You know, put white up here and tan here. <laughs> so it just kind of depends what wants to be unblocked uh, for pain relief. So now that I've patched this, I feel like I want to patch on the other side now too, because I can now feel more, more, mostly I feel on the side, but then now I, this feels better and I, now I want to patch this side. Um, you know, you can patch both sides. You can use two sets of uh, ice wave patches. The other thing you can do is just use one because oftentimes the meridians on the one side, if they if they have increased flow, sometimes the opposite side also gets a treatment uh, without you have it, having to actually patch it. So you can experiment with that. And the other thing I got to do today is drink more water uh, because I have not drank more water. Whoops, that's my tea. So my water, okay, <laughs> my water, drink more water. So I got to get through that so that increases the flow of energy and makes the phototherapy patches work better. The nice thing about the ice wave phototherapy patches, it's not a drug. Nothing goes through the skin. So it's not Tylenol. It's not anti-inflammatories, Aleve, ibuprofen, all those things that can potentially damage your kidneys and your liver. Uh, and, you know, just the body just has to use so much energy to try to get rid of that stuff you know, to metabolize it out of your body. It's like a toxin to the body. So this way you're using light to naturally increase the flow of energy in an area. It's kind of like acupuncture, but without the needles, right? And that can increase that, that flow and therefore the pain just disappears or goes away or gets better. Our goal usually with ice wave patching is 50% less pain immediately right away after patching um, and oftentimes over the next 5, 10, 20, 30 minutes, um, sometimes the pain continues to decrease 
And the most important thing is to remember to drink lots of water um, because energy runs when your cells are hydrated. Yeah, your cells are like little batteries. So you want them to be plump with, uh, with fluid because uh, water conducts electricity better, conducts energy better. So I hope that's helpful. I would love to know your feedback on that. If you try the scaling patching, please let me know. Um, put it in the comments below. Let me know how you do, how that feels, if that improves things. And uh, yeah, so uh, until next time, I will uh, talk to you soon. And feel free to share this video if uh, you're in one of my private groups. You can just go to the patch training team business page, the LifeWay patch training team business page. That's a public page. You'll see these videos archived in the video section and you can share them to anyone you want to from there. All right. Have a great day. Bye.